Hey Pisces, Intuition Angel here reading for you guys for this week in July. I hope everyone is doing okay. So this will be a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Um, you guys can look at the links below uh, for personal readings. Um, energy can be reversed. Time is fluid. Okay. So I'm trying to channel into your guys' energy. Before I turn the camera on, Pisces, I just got this really confused Seven of Cups energy, right? It's like it's a lot going on. That's the best way I can explain it right now. But at the same time, there's nothing going on. I heard that something has flatlined. Something has, something is dead now. Or like something isn't, I don't know, it's weird. Okay, so we have doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Okay, so it's like someone here is like releasing things. Someone's no longer fighting. Someone's no longer fighting with something, uh, Pisces. So this kind of sounds like the Gemini reading. That was the very first card that popped out last time, too. All right, so. And the Gemini reading. Okay, all right, so we have balance here. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. And then we have regret. I know that I cannot change the past. All right, so, Pisces, I'm getting, like, this energy of someone around you, like, they're regretting the way that you treat that they treated you because you're so balanced and you don't really ask for much or at least I'm talking to a Pisces that doesn't ask for much or someone around you doesn't really ask for much and someone who regrets how someone treats treated them someone could have tried to throw someone off their balance you could have been dealing with a Libra and it didn't work it like backfired or something like that and it had a lot to do with you know maybe you were doing meditations Maybe you were just releasing. You're starting to understand, you know, how to pray and manifest things. You know, you're not supposed to babysit your prayers and things of that such. So you just let something go. And it started to balance you out. And you know that you cannot change the past. So it's like you're just going to let things go. And now someone is in regret about that. Let me get another card, please, for Pisces. Thank you. All right. So we have discipline here. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Someone regrets not having the correct discipline. All right, so it's sounding just like the Gemini reading that I just did. So you guys could have some placements of Gemini and Pisces in your chart. Or, you know, there could be some Geminis dealing with Pisces or Pisces dealing with Geminis. All right. If that's not the case, then this is just like, you know, Divine Masculine waking up. Everyone's Divine Masculine is starting to be more self-disciplined. Okay. Also getting that you guys are definitely accomplishing all your goals. And leaving this person in some sort of regret. Alright. Clarify doubt, please. For Pisces. Nice doubt here for Pisces. We have rebirth here. Winter time. And then we have self-worth expectations. I feel like you're no longer waiting for something. That's, that's what has been flatlined. Oh, okay, so the flatline energy is you guys no longer waiting, no longer messaging someone, no longer contacting someone. You realize your self-worth. Okay, I feel like you're really seeing doubts. I feel like you're being more positive and more balanced. You're looking at the glass half full right now. Clarify balance, please, for Pisces. Why is balance here for Pisces? All right, we have trust divine time. Yep. Closed off, guarded, resistance, and then we have freedom, leap, Uranus, opportunities. So you guys are definitely um, moving on to brand new opportunities, maybe just moving, actually moving. And then you have closed off, guarded energy. So I feel like you're really closed off to this person as you trust divine timing and the situation. And it's helping you become more balanced, okay? Um, this person here is noticing your closed off energy. They're noticing that you're not paying attention to them. And that you have a lot of self-worth right now, Pisces. Clarify regret. Why is regret here for Pisces? Pisces and angels. Why is regret here for Pisces? Yeah, someone regrets here fighting with you, having triggers and conflicts. Yeah, someone regrets fighting with you. Yeah, this was like a home situation. They realized how open you were or how caring you were, Pisces. And now it's just like, they regret everything. They regret like maybe bringing disharmony in the home. 
Okay. Clarify discipline, please, for Pisces. This could actually be a family member if it's not someone that you're married to or living with. Okay, so, yeah, so we have limitations and fears. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. This person here doesn't believe in themselves. We have Chiron here. You know, like hurt people hurt people. And something happened to them. Okay, so this person here is like getting messages of your growth or they're getting like downloads of your growth. They wish that they can message you. I feel like you guys are going to come back together. I feel like you guys are definitely going to come back together. I do feel like they feel very bad about what they've done. Whatever that was for you guys. Um, but they actually want to grow with you. I'm getting like totally different energy from the Gemini reading. Um, Pisces, this sounds more like personal. And this person feels very bad for what they've done. They're probably going to tell you. The reason why this didn't work out was because of their fears. They're probably going to tell you something about their fears and try to be more disciplined with you. All right. But I feel like you're starting to realize your self-worth and you're not really paying this person attention. You're not waiting on them anymore. And that's why they're starting to like straighten up their act. Let's see if they're actually going to change though, all right? All right. So Holy Spirit and angels... What is the energy right now for Pisces? What's the energy right now for Pisces, Holy Spirit, and Angels? What's the energy for Pisces? Yeah, someone does regret all of the fighting. And they wish they could make it up to you, but they fear something. So I feel like this could be like one of those situations. Yeah, the Emperor in the reverse. Wow. Okay, so for those of you who had a abusive partner, they regret the energy that they had where they were just all over the place, didn't know how to control a situation, okay? So it was like more abusive than anything. This person had no leadership, you know, qualities of themselves. <sighs> okay, so let's see what else for Pisces. Holy Spirit and Angels. All right, yeah, we have the hangman here and the six of cups. So this person is like looking in the past and they're realizing it was in the inverse, reverse. We have something here like they're looking in the past, being very nostalgic, realizing that there are no good memories here. There's no good memories that they can recall of having with you, okay? And they're enlightened about that, okay? And they realize that they were kind of abusive, right, Pisces? Or at least didn't control something the right way. We have a fool here in reverse. Very foolish energy. They jumped into things too much. They probably went out a lot. Being very nonchalant with the two of swords. Not knowing what to choose or pick. Or pretending like they didn't see what they were doing. Okay, Pisces. I feel like this person wants you to forgive them. But I don't understand like... The Emperor is still in the reverse, okay? So it's like they're... I don't think that they're changing. But they are definitely looking... In the past. I'm talking about the Two of Swords for Pisces. Two of Swords for Pisces. It's like someone is definitely like being enlightened about what they've done and they regret it. Yeah, we have Judgment here, the Two of Swords, and then the Hierophant. It's like they're being enlightened, but like it's like Spirit is forcing them to be enlightened. They're trying to do the right thing, though. They really want to do the right thing. They come off as a leader or something like that. They do come off as a leader to me, but I don't think that they know what they're doing. Like, sometimes I feel like they don't know what they're doing. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Scorpio, Sagittarius, or another Pisces. Clarify Hierophant, please, for Pisces. Clarify Hierophant. Okay, so these readings have been weird lately, FYI, and it's only because, like, it's my speech getting all mixed up. I feel like people don't want me to talk about this. So we have the Ten of Swords here with the Knight of Cups. All right. Someone is putting an end to, like, the Knight of Cups energy here. Yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like they really want to commit to you. You have some sort of a legacy or a business that, that you got going on. 
I feel like also you're putting an end to non-committal people, people who, who just have like, you know, like they probably have a, a, a trail of broken hearts behind them or something like that. Like they really, they offer everybody their cup, really. Um, and you, you want to be more stable and grounded. All right, so the Ten of Wands, the Tower, Page of Swords, and we have the Three of Wands. This person's like still waiting for you to message them. They're waiting for you to message them. And I feel like they have already gave you a Knight of Cups offer and you avoided it. Or like they didn't expect you to put it, put their offer down or like, but they're spying on you. They're like trying to find ways to come towards you. And they're also like waiting for you to message them back. And you put down this burden. They didn't think that, that you were going to put this burden down. All right. I want to know more about, and tell me about, Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles here. This is something that you actually had a home with. Or some sort of legacy with. And they're like out the loop right now. Of the star here. So you do got, you guys do have a business here. It's like spiritually guided here. Because I was thinking of the Queen of Pentacles and the star came out. We have Strength. Leo Energy. And then we have the Seven of Wands. We have the Chariot. This person's trying to stop your growth. or trying to stop your... They're trying to hold you back from healing. They're trying to cause obstacles. Trying to get in the way. Trying to hold you back. This person could actually be in your house. For some of you. This could be like a father or something like that. But you got something going on here. And this person is like trying to hold you back from it. Or they feel like they don't have this type of... Yeah, the chariot in the reverse. This person doesn't have the self-discipline. To do what you're doing. Yeah, you have the Princess of Wands. You're very passionate about what you're doing. Okay. The King of Pentacles in reverse. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And the Eight of Swords in reverse. Tell me about the Eight of Swords in reverse. This person invested in something that was bad. This person has terrible investment skills. They could be like a, a really bad gambler. They're the type to go to the casino and waste all their money. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune here. I feel like... um. Something here is going to happen with money and it's going to like release you. It's going to make you free from this person. If, if it's not someone that's far away and it's someone that's close for you, Pisces, I feel like this person is going to slip up and do something. They're going to do something very unstable. I keep getting this unstable energy from them. Okay. Um, it's like you're no longer going to be afraid to move or no longer be afraid to do something. And it's going to be like karma for them. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. Something for, that you're working on is going to actually, you know, be fruitful. I'm also getting that you're not working with groups. You're working by yourself. Or you don't like to work with groups. And then we have the Five of Wands here with the Lovers. Someone caused a lot of conflict in a family situation. This person thought they were funny, too, the way that they acted, but they weren't funny. They were actually very immature, um, abusive, you know, they they were just raised wrong. They have the Three of Cups here. This person wants to reconcile with you, but I feel like there could be other people involved if it's not work. Yeah, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So, I okay, so what I'm getting here, Pisces, is that this person here, this person here thinks that they control everything. They can control everything. I do see you guys coming back together. But I'm also getting like this person's still going to have like another third party lingering around. Or, you know, it's like they... It's like, it's, it's more like they don't want to be involved in your work situation though. They don't want to be involved in your work situation, Pisces. They don't want to get... They don't want to collaborate with you like a Three of Pentacles. They want to collaborate with you like a Three of Cups. So they're all about partying and things like that. They don't even see the love situation for what it is. But this person um, is definitely stopping the fighting. I do see it. Um, when it comes to choices, though, and things of that such, and, like, who they hang out with, I don't see them changing that about themselves. So I feel like this person thinks they're funny. They're always trying to find something to, like, get under your skin or wait for a reaction from you. And, like, that's not... 
not cool either. So we have luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. I feel like as, as long as you're focused and everything, Pisces, you're going to be okay. I feel like you guys get a lot of abundance no matter what. If this is a court situation, I feel like this person is going to eventually slip up anyway and you're going to get whatever you want. What else for Pisces? I feel like, yeah, someone's going to slip up or something. I keep thinking, keep getting that. Emotions are running high. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay. Yo. Okay, let me get one more, please, for Pisces. A personal issue reaches resolution. Look at the bigger picture. And then we have a win-win outcome is the forecast. And then we have faith in your dreams. Have faith in your dreams. Guys, this is the same energy that I got from the last reading. So, I mean, I cleared my energy, but it looks like you guys could be dealing with someone who's a Gemini. Or there's a Gemini involved. You know, I would um, highly recommend to cross-watch that. But there is a masculine here who has to definitely get in control of his emotions. I feel like even if he doesn't, you know, spirit is saying that you're going to win something anyway. And it keeps coming up. So I highly recommend that you guys just stay focused on your craft and whatever you're doing. I feel like this person doesn't really want to come together with you and work with you. I don't think that they even can. I feel like what you're doing here is very spiritual or something that only you can do, like it's a talent. And um, they wouldn't be the right person to work with, with all of these kings in the reverse here. But anyways, Pisces, that was your reading. I hope it resonated for you guys. Um, if it did, go ahead and please like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Namaste. Bye.